Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI Do It Yourself tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about executing and running scripts on R using Power BI. You will load this file which you have loaded in the previous videos and then verify the data. Click on load and go to a new page. The file is available in the Google Drive link as in the description of this video. Power BI provides an inbuilt functionality and integration with R. Let's see how to execute an R code here. It says R scripts visual and it provides you an option, an area. It's R script editor to edit and write R queries. Add the R visualization which we have done and then select department, customer name and sales amount. As and when you are adding the columns, you would see the script is changing here in the background. Write the following code in R. So just you have to copy and paste both the following lines and these lines are available in the description section of the video below and click on execute this is r you can you can see how it works and how the data set has brought back histogram of sales amount. You can change it and you can see on the fly this would change. And you can see it changes Let's add P type. It's fantastic and then and this is a very good functionality wherein you can run R scripts in Power BI. Having said that, if you want to go in deep in Power BI, we have data science and machine learning tutorials in R which gives you very depth understanding on R. The link for this video series is also available here. Please click on the link for more information in the details section. Please note that you have to click on this run button or run script in order for this script to be executed for the first time. So let's do some hands-on exercises. Create an R visualization using customer country and sales cost and use histogram in the same code fashion as mentioned above. If you're interested for more R visualizations use ggplot2 plot ly libraries from r and also you can learn r from this link as i showed you earlier having said that you know it's a it's a great functionality which most of the tools today provide tableau has it clicksense the new version has it and power bi has it inbuilt thank you for watching